Hello everybody, it is Clash's Gut here again with part 3 on how to make a tank shooter game in Scratch. So, we left off here last time with our tank and our enemies. So, when they touch you, you lose health and when your health is zero, you all fade but then after that nothing happens so today we're going to make a upgrade shop when after you die you can upgrade your abilities and then try again to defeat all the enemies so for starters we're going to just edit some of these code a bit we're going to change the names so change sprite one to player and change sprite 2 to bullet then change sprite 3 to enemy we're gonna put a wait 0 0.2 seconds after when I receive setup here and 0 0.2 seconds in the bullet when I receive setup. In the player, we're going to put set exit to nothing at the very top. And instead of turn three degrees, we're going to turn speed degrees and turn speed degrees. Okay, we're going to make a new variable called money. And we're going to put money over on the right side here. And we want to show variable money. Oops, show variable money. And when clicked, we want to set money to, let's say, 10. Okay, so now we're going to make a new sprite, paint a new sprite. And we want a gray square that basically covers the entire screen so huge gray screen here and then we're gonna do some text just make that a bit darker and change it to marker and we're gonna say upgrades shop make that a bit bigger Put it right in the middle. I'm gonna go to code. When clicked, go to zero, zero. Just press on that so it goes into the middle. Now we're gonna do the same thing down here except we're gonna write mobility. Gonna make that a bit larger click on it, copy, paste, bring that towards the middle and I'm going to change that to attack speed and then make sure that is perfectly centered you can use the arrow keys to move it and then we want to same thing copy, paste and we're going to call that armor So we got three things that we can upgrade. We can upgrade its mobility, which is the movement speed, its attack speed, which is how fast it shoots, and the armor, which is basically its hit point, its hit points. So to show that, we're going to go handwriting and underneath it, gonna write mobility makes tank move faster and turn quicker gonna shrink that down a bit 
and put it underneath mobility. So, same thing, we want to copy, paste, and put it under attack speed and change it to increases shooting speed. Gonna make so go before the speed and press space so it's in the middle. Increases shooting speed for the attack speed upgrade. And for armor, we want to again copy, paste, pull it under the armor and say increases health. So that is basically it for the descriptions. Now let's go into the code and when click go to zero zero hide. Now let's go to the player. I gotta go broadcast. So ah in test dead, if it dies, we want it to broadcast dead. And when this receives dead, it's time for it to show. I'm gonna make a new sprite here, paint, and we wanna make a rectangle with about an outline of five in black, like that. So one in the middle. Now I'm gonna do text. I'm gonna change it to marker and I'm gonna make that dark, and we're gonna say done make it a bit bigger and put it inside here so it's like a button and so when clicked again hi you don't want it to show right at the start and when I receive dead you want to show and go to let's see you want it down here somewhere so X let's change that to zero and negative 130. I want to say forever if then else. So if touching mouse pointer, then set size to 1110. I want it to set size to 100 and set size to 100 here. So basically, it's going to let the zombies kill the tank so just wait yep it's nearly there three two one they fade and then the upgrade shot comes up so let's test this yes so when the mouse pointer hovers over it it becomes bigger so if you click it nothing happens so you're gonna say if touching mouse pointer then if mouse down so it means if it's touching it and it's clicked then we want to broadcast setup click setup okay so let's test this again i want to wait for those enemies to come and destroy the tank okay goes into the upgrade shop and when it's pressed it should broadcast setup okay however this is not exactly working because you see once it broadcasts it the tank basically immediately dies because we need to do when I receive setup we want to delete this clone now when I receive setup we need this to hide and we also need this to hide so duplicate that when I receive setup hide okay so let's go to full screen and I'm going to do one more test here 
Yep, so it's touching it. Health. Health is going down. Dies. And then when I click done, it restarts and sets the health back to 10. So that is good. But now we need a way to upgrade our abilities. So we need to change the money. So every time our enemy dies, we want to change money by, let's say, 1. So we are going to, if touch and bullet, then change money by 1. Delete this clone. So now, as you can see, the money is currently 10. If I shoot and d destroy one of the enemies, it becomes 11, 12, 13. So that works. Now, we need somehow to upgrade this. So, I'm just gonna again suicide my tank and just let it die so I can see. Just, yep, it is dead now. So, this thing appears, but you cannot upgrade anything right now. I will go through how to make an upgradable system in my next video. But for now, thank you for watching with Clash's Gut. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch out for my next video, how to make a tank shooter part three. This is it for now and see you later.